Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of the Physical 100 show finale controversy. In our last video, we talked about how Chung Hae Min exposed the production team in an exclusive interview. And now we have seen even more juicy updates for you. What has happened since our last video? Six contestants have come forward and revealed what actually happened during the finale. The production team of the show hosted an exclusive event and only invited selected reporters to show them unedited raw footage of the finale. Get ready for some crazy news! Before we move on, please subscribe to our channel as it helps out with the algorithm. Also, like this video so it pops up on more people's feeds. Let's start with a quick recap. Remember that in the exclusive interview that Chung Hae Min gave on the 28th of February after being silent the whole time, he totally exposed the production team. Chung Hae Min has earlier exposed Wu Jin Young who complained, oh there's something wrong with my machine, it's making squeaking sounds, which made the producers go and take a look and actually confirmed that there was nothing wrong with it. But the winner Wu Jin Young kept crying about it and created a fuzz. So, they put oil on it. How is this not aired? Or is the loser Chung Hae Min being a sore loser and a liar here? Well, he's not actually a loser, he actually almost won that round, but the producer screamed stop several times and eventually stormed in and said there's technical issues with the audio. Hence why they wanted to refilm it. By the way, some smart journalists have questioned that there were over 100 cameras and audio equipment. Did the audio really fail on every single equipment? That's a quick recap on the last video and what happened. Let us update you on the news. NBC has released their stories. The loser Chung Hae Min has released his story. But what about Wu Jin Young's, the winner's story? Obviously, NBC and Hae Min didn't agree with each other. Wu Jin Young's timestamps matched with NBC's, of course, since he's the winner. However, the conflicting part, as mentioned earlier, is the part where Chung Hae Min claims that Wu Jin Young complained about a sound coming out of the rope machine, but Wu Jin Young denies that. That never happened, according to Wu Jin Young. What is going on here? Well, Wu Jin Young did in fact raise his hand and complained, but that was after the first stop. The first stop was caused by the production team who voluntarily stopped the game and oiled the machine for Wu Jin Young. The second stop happened because Wu Jin Young raised his hands. He did, in fact, admit that himself. Wu Jin Young's point is the first stop was not his doing. The second stop was indeed his idea. The second stop should be more legit since it's because his rope was getting tangled, not because of any squeaky sounds. Minor details but makes a big difference, according to him. In my mind, that doesn't make any difference. Complaining is complaining. And why is his statement not matching with NBC's? On March 6th, Chung Hae Min came out with another interview where he claimed that the production crew and Wu Jin Young are still lying. He isn't backing down anytime soon here. The truth should be revealed as he's super frustrated. Chung Hae Min is coming out guns blazing and saying that it's not smart to cover up lies with more lies. The producer of the show is repeatedly inviting Chung Hae Min over to prove that Jin Young wasn't the first one to raise his hand, but Hae Min doesn't want to meet him privately because he doesn't want to risk maybe seeing an edited version of the video. He just wants the production team to go ahead and release the raw footage on YouTube as they never stopped filming. Why are they so scared about releasing the raw footage? Lots of people are siding with Chung Hae Min and that's completely fair as the production team is not transparent and hides something. Hence why the raw footage never comes out. Now to the juiciest part. On March 9th, the finale footage was released, but here's the catch. It was only released to selected reporters during an exclusive event. Wait, why is it exclusive? They're just digging their own grave deeper and deeper here. Also note that photo and video coverage of the event was also strictly prohibited. Another fishy thing is, King of Journalists, the guy who originally leaked the story about the finale being filmed three times, is not invited. The people who are against NBC are basically not invited. This is rigged for sure. Why are the production team scared of inviting the individual who is questioning them 
and has evidence that they've been doing something shady. Shouldn't you want to prove your innocence, or maybe you just can't? People are commenting everywhere saying, hella red flag when they don't get other contestants to view the contest in person rather than through a TV screen. The key takeaways from the event is, the producer take full responsibility of how this controversy unfolded. It all happened because the production team did not prepare thoroughly enough. In the released footage, there was no evidence of Wu Jinyoung raising his hand to stop filming due to sound issues coming from his machine. It was actually producers that stopped filming because the noise from Wu Jinyoung's machine was getting so loud. And producer Jang Ho Ji said he wanted to leave it alone and he noticed both of the contestants were taking a break and resting, so that's when he addressed it. And again, he wanted to let it go, but he said that the noise got so loud that it became a safety issue. Wait here, safety issue? And his quote is, broadcast is important, but safety is more important, so we officially requested a halt. This statement is kind of crazy if you think about it. They have never shown that they were concerned about any contestant's safety on the show. There were multiple times it looked like people were in super danger or hurt. The dancer guy from Singles Inferno was one running with a fractured rib, or the other guy who pushed the ship with a broken leg. Or what about Da Young having her leg rolled over by that log that was carried by that weight of that huge ship? Former UDT specialist and drill instructor Kim Kyung Baek showed his immense strength by excelling at the hanging challenge, where contestants had to use their arms to hang from bars until they were the last remaining. Did you know what happened to him? His arms got paralyzed for two whole months after that. Elaine Wong, a Singaporean contestant on the show who was once a K-pop idol hopeful with MBK Entertainment, is an actress who weighs in at only 42 kilograms. According to Elaine Wong, Netflix didn't show all this, but behind the scenes, there's an ambulance every 20 to 30 minutes picking up contestants and going off. Safety issue? Are you serious? Since when did anyone on the production team begin to care? Netizens are laughing out loud after hearing and reading their excuse and have commented things like, The safety excuse is so vile. Didn't the guy with the messed up knee take literally nine months to recover? Like, come on, lol. So what did the selected reporters say? As a result of checking the original unedited footage, all of Chung Hae Min's claims are false. Not surprised, are you? Of course, they're siding with the production team. It's an exclusive event with selected reporters. The producer Jang Ho Ji also said that they could only disclose a snippet of the match because Netflix owns the original footage and has strict regulations on the footage. He also explained that they could not release the clip as a file due to concerns about the editing done by third parties and the exposure of personal comments unrelated to the recording situation. Come on here, you're the one showing edited footage to the world. If you release the raw, unedited footage on YouTube, who can argue with you? Why are you so scared? The producer ends the event by saying that he's sorry and that he will visit both contestants to give a formal apology. Now to the juicy part, to the truth. Dispatch Korea's biggest paparazzi media has been in contact with six contestants from Physical 100 who have decided to speak up. Are the producers lying or is Chung Hae Min lying? Please subscribe to our channel and like the video. It really helps out with the algorithm so more people can see this. Thank you again. Back to the juicy stuff. On March 10th, Dispatch reported that six anonymous contestants that were in the screening room had chosen to speak up. We'll call the anonymous people for A, B, C, D, E, F. Contestant A says Wu Jinyoung appealed. Did he raise his hands? I don't remember. He got annoyed, then let go of the rope. The producers then stopped the match. Contestant B says it was loud from what I remember. Jin Yong raised his hand and the match paused. Contestant C says Jin Yong made the first gesture to stop the game, which is why I was surprised by his Instagram statement saying he didn't raise his hand. I thought to myself, didn't Jin Yong appeal first? Contestant D says Jin Young expressed his dissatisfaction because things weren't going well for him. Honestly, there was a big difference. Contestant E says, did Jin Young raise his hands first? I don't know, but the game was paused twice. The staff asked us, the panelists, to react as though we were watching it for the first time. Contestant F says, Chung Hae Min used all his energy in the beginning of the match. I could see how he lost his strength from the game being paused twice. 
contestant F continues to say, but couldn't Hey Min have claimed that he had a mechanical defect with his machine in the third round? I think he's referring to that part where at the end when it looks like his rope gets stuck, contestant F thinks that Chung Hey Min should have raised his hands there. But Chung Hae Min has already addressed that in an earlier interview. He didn't think there was a problem with a rope machine. He was just out of strength and too tired. In other words, he wasn't a little crybaby like Woo Jin Young. In the end, they all made a group statement saying that neither of the two finalists should take any blame as they're not at fault. The producer's response to all of this was wrong according to the anonymous individuals. Appeals and pauses can happen, but they should have shown that on the show. From the beginning, Hey Min just wanted one thing. That was to show the circumstances that led to his defeat. I guess the contestants are siding with Chung Hae Min here, not looking too good for the producers or Woo Jin Young. Stay put for more such updates like this only on our channel. All you have to do is hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. More Daebak, more Sarang Hae.